welcome. I'm so excited you're here today to watch my video. Um, we are going to be making a super cute card today. I'm really excited to get started. I need to um, start out using a piece of my grid paper. I usually fold this in half so I have a double thickness when I'm doing coloring because I am going to do a little bit of Copic coloring today. Um, so I have this cute little elf that I've stamped already and he's from one of our stamps that's in the um, holiday catalog and the name of it is escaping me right now. So I'll put that up on the screen. Um, and I'm just doing some super simple coloring because I am by no means a Copic expert. So I'm going to speed this up and um, do some coloring really quick and then I'll be right back with you. I came back just before um, I finished coloring here because I just wanted to share a few things with you about my coloring. I am being really messy with my coloring right now, I'm sure you can see, because I'm going to be hand cutting this little guy out. So I'm not super worried about it. And that's a tip that um, I learned uh, a while ago that when you're coloring something that you're going to be cutting out, it's best to just kind of be messy with it because it saves you a lot of time. Um, I am also, I thought, well, you might want to know what colors I was using. So I'll let you know I'm using a G17 and G07 for the elf's little costume here. So just a little bit darker uh, green on the trim and the shoes of his outfit and around his neck here. And as you can see, I'm not doing any blending or anything. I'm simply just coloring. And I'm going to do a little bit of blending on his hair and his face, but not much. So um, for his face, I am using E00 to start out with. And just kind of covering his face, his neck, and his hands with this color. And it's such a great skin tone color. I really love it. And then I'm going back over it again just to kind of darken it up. That's something that's cool that I learned about Copics is the more you layer, the darker it gets. So that's kind of cool. And I really didn't know that. And then, of course, I feel like he needs rosy cheeks. So I'm just going to add some um, E93 for his cheeks. And then for his hair, I'm just doing kind of like a caramely orange color hair. So I'm starting out with YR24 and I'm going to color all of his hair this color. And again, you can see I'm not being super careful with my coloring because um, I just don't think it's always necessary to have it perfect. It's just I just don't worry about it because uh, life's short and I'm busy. So that's what it, bo <laughs> that's what it boils down to is. I just, you know, life is just crazy busy and sometimes I just don't have time to sit. So on this part of his hair, oops, I missed some of his hair down here. I was just doing really quick, very light brush strokes that are like, kind of like, I think I've heard, him, heard it referred to as feathering. Um, I'm barely touching the pen to the paper, but it gives it a really pretty pretty look and then I'm going in with a little bit darker color right here at the base of his hat and the base of his neck so um, this is YR14 so then that's his hair so then all I have to do is come in with some Y15 to color his little bells yellow and then I'm gonna trim this guy out and then I'll be back with you when I'm done trimming him out okie dokie I'm back and we're going to finish this card out. It is such a cute card. It's so simple. We are just going to simply stamp this background. And I'm using the Flurry of Wishes stamp set to stamp the background. And there's this cute little double snowflake. And there's actually a punch that coordinates with this um, stamp set. But I'm not, I don't need that today. I'm not using that. 
I am just going to create this really beautiful snowflake background for my card. All right, and then I've got, oh, by the way, this is a Whisper White cardstock, and it is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then I have a piece of basic gray here, and it is cut at a half inch by um, five and a quarter. So I'm going to layer this down. And then I have a quarter inch strip by five and a quarter of glimmer paper, silver glimmer paper. And I'm going to layer this piece down. And I'm gonna bring in this super cute sentiment from the Flurry of Wishes. It says, sending you a flurry of warm wishes, Christmas wishes. And I think that's so sweet because it kind of will look like this sweet little elf is saying that. And I stamped that in basic gray, Stampin' Up's basic gray. And this is a piece of basic gray cardstock cut at 11 by four and a quarter. And to put it on our card base, this piece on our card base, I'm gonna use some dimensionals because I want it to pop up and have dimension. I don't want it to be flat on the card. But you could put it on flat if you wanted to. I just like, I always like dimension, so I use dimensionals a lot. Okay, and then we're just going to adhere this down. And then we'll add our little elf. Before I add my elf, though, I want to take some basic black marker. And I'm just going to go around the edges of my elf with this marker. Um, this is a trick I learned from watching Jennifer McGuire and Christina Warner. Um, both super talented people and it just gives a really nice finite well I just messed up my elf there we'll fix it we're gonna fix it okay I don't know we're gonna find out it's working so I'm just using my roller gel pen to kind of go over that dark mark that I made on his face. And then when that dries, I'll go ahead and color over him and he'll be just fine. Okay, so let's add some dimension to this little elf. And get him put on this card. And it looks like he's running and saying, sending you a flurry of warm wishes and there's all those cute snowflakes stamped in the background. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic Monday and a great rest of your week. Join me again this week on Wednesday and Friday for uh, card making videos or paper crafting tutorials. I try to do a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.